Hey guys, I'm with Robbie Wheaton from Wheaton Arms, uh, and we're looking at the Liberty Suppressors Amendment. Uh, it's what they call their 30 caliber family. That's right. And you can shoot from 30 caliber all the way down to 22 long rifle. But this is a dedicated rifle type suppressor. And uh, Robbie, who's an SOT, he's class three, and he knows a lot about suppressors, so I wanted to bring him along on this. Yeah, this is a, it's a really cool suppressor for, for your rifle. Uh, it comes threaded 5 8 by 24 but one of the really nice features with this can is the fact that it comes apart and you can shoot 22 long rifle in it and be able to take it apart and clean it, which a lot of your dedicated 30 caliber rifle suppressors are sealed and you don't have that ability to do. Now we just did the review on the Mystic X and the Infinity X, but it's more designed as a multi-purpose even 9mm for pistols and different things. This is more toward just rifle. They are, that's right. The Mystic X and the Infinity X is kind of a do-all for, for that person that wants one suppressor that kind of does everything. It does a really good job at suppressing 22 all the way up through 9mm. Um, but if you're looking for just a dedicated rifle suppressor that's going to give you the best sound signature that you can get with a suppressor that you can still take apart, take a look at the amendment. Now, we really appreciate Guns on Deals for sending the Liberty Suppressor Amendment for this review. And also, a big thanks to Robbie Wheaton for his help. Well, guys, here is the can. Uh, it weighs 16 ounces. It's 7.3 inches in length. It's 1.62 inches in diameter. Robbie, I want you to kind of talk about a lot of the, the features about this, knowing really what it is you're looking for yep. with a 30 caliber can. So with this suppressor, it's got a stainless steel outer tube. It's got a titanium inner tube, and it comes apart really easy. You just unscrew it. Let's see if we can get this thing to come apart right quick. Well, there's a lot of nice threads, and they're very fine. They are, yep. So let's show you guys what the insides look like here. So here's the inside of the suppressor with your titanium monocore baffle system. The baffle design that Liberty does with their suppressors with their monocore works really well. It's easy to take apart. It's really easy to clean. If you get a lot of carbon buildup in here and you've got a little blast cabinet at home, you can soda blast this. You can media blast this with a real soft media. It's really easy to clean, really easy to reassemble. Slide it back together, screw it back together. I really like how easy it is just to get to it. Yep. And you're not having to have a solvent trap or have something where you're putting liquid down in it. Well, you know, that's one of the big things with their suppressors is being able to take it apart and it's not a sealed unit. Most of your other centerfire rifle suppressors are sealed units, so you can't take them apart. You get a bunch of carbon buildup in it, and people really don't think that you get a lot of carbon deposits with a centerfire rifle can, but this can here with two or 3,000 rounds through it could increase the weight by more than double. You can go from a one pound can to a two pound can with all of the carbon deposits and buildup that you can get inside it. Well, if you just look at your uh, flash hider or your muzzle brake. That's right. I mean, after fire, a good day at the range, man, you know, it has carbon all over it. Yep, and this is trapping all of it. It's trapping all of the carbon inside the can. So being able to take that apart and clean it is a big benefit. So you can see the monocore baffle design that they have. It's really designed to scavenge gas off and break up the donut that you get with the gas. What you want to try and do with any suppressor is when the gas exits the muzzle, it exits like a donut. So you get a, a little hole in the middle and then the gas swirls around the outside. This design does a really good job of breaking up that donut to where you get more of a stream of gas that comes out instead of, instead of the donut, which helps to reduce the sound signature, keep gas inside the suppressor longer and allow the gas to cool so you don't get the loud boom when the rifle shoots. Now this has the 5H by 24 thread pitch for a lot of your 308s and things like that, but... You know, yep, the majority of your 308s or 30 cal cans are going to be threaded 5H by 24. Liberty also makes an adapter for this suppressor that just screws in the back that reduces it from 5H by 24 down to half by 28. So you can use it on your 22 long rifle, you can use it on your 5.56 or anything like that. And with this suppressor, MSRP on it is about $600. So for everything that you get here with the titanium tube, the stainless steel outer tube, you know, really great sound suppression, it's a good value. And they also have a nice case to put it in.
and I tell you what, that's nice. Yeah, it is nice. The Fiocchi ammo, incredibly consistent. Yeah. Incredibly consistent. I mean, almost the exact same foot per second with every round that we fired through it. Right. Very impressive. Yeah. And the sound signature with the can is awesome. Yeah. And I'm not wearing any kind of ears or anything right now. And we're under this aluminum awning. Right. And, you know, it's got a really, really quiet sound signature. There's no echoing or anything from it. It's super quiet. Easy yeah. on the ears to shoot. You know, it'd be a nice suppressor for a hunting rifle. Yeah, I agree. Taking this off, you really need to have something to protect your hand and get hot. Now we're going to shoot it without the suppressor through the chronograph. See what kind of velocity we're getting. tell you the first thing that you notice, <clears throat> take my ears out so I'm not yelling, the first thing that you notice is the increase in recoil. That suppressor does a really nice job in helping to mitigate recoil of the rifle. Right. So it's probably 50% reduction in recoil with the can on versus with it off. So that was really nice. Just that in itself, the recoil reduction that you get with it. But then, you know, still shoots very well. But yeah, you know, I'd much rather have it with the can on versus with the can off. Yes, yeah, a lot quieter too. Yep. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. How many rounds you doing? Now here's where Robbie sighted it in first shot and then he got it right on target. Uh, this without the suppressor, I mean with the suppressor. Yeah, yeah, sighted it in with the suppressor, shot a five shot group with the suppressor. I mean, it's, it's impressive how just going from 150 grain projectile to 168 grain projectile tightened the groups up. You know, we, we came down a few weeks ago and we're shooting it with some 150s and it was like inch and a half. I mean, you know, not terrible, but still, I knew the rifle was capable of much more. Yeah. So we swapped out to some 168 grain open tip match, and uh, you know, just a just a nice ragged one hole group in the middle of the target.
And then here without the suppressor. Yep, a little uh, vertical stringing with it, a uh, little low and left. So point of impact shifted probably three quarters of an inch, had one flyer, but uh, you know, still a respectable group for that, sure. That's four shots. Yeah, so. that's four shots and then a fifth flyer. So it's still res you know, very respectable, but you know, we did have a little low and left point of impact shift with it, probably three quarters of an inch or so. And then here with the suppressor, and then I've had a flyer here, right here. Uh, this is without the suppressor. Uh, good four shot group, and then uh, just pulled it, which happens. Sometimes I get really nervous if it's a really tight group. Yep. I'm like, I want to make sure I get this. So that was what that's about. But you know, the interesting thing is here with yours, your you know, center of this group, you're about three quarters of an inch high and right. And when we took the suppressor off, it dropped you right on center. And me, I was center and dropped about three quarters of an inch low and left. Yeah, so really it's almost negligible, but it's there. Yep. yep. It, it, I mean, it's not really good in a practical sense. Uh, to most distances, probably out to three, four hundred yards. Out to three hundred yards, it wouldn't make a difference. Past three hundred, suppressor on versus suppressor off, it's something that you definitely need to be aware of and would have to adjust for it for further distances. Yeah, I agree. But definitely um, an impressive little rifle. Definitely makes a difference with recoil oh, yeah. with the suppressor. I mean, it's phenomenal. Um, I mean, of course that happens, but it traps a lot of the gases. But even though this is supersonic ammunition, even without earplugs, it's not bad. It does not hurt the ears. Well, you know, that's one of the nice things. We're back here in, in one of the bays in the back corner, so you've got a ton of reflective sound coming off of the bank here and another bank here right behind us. Right. There's a lot of reflective sound here. And even with the reflective sound, that suppressor is very quiet. It really is. It really is. Man, that's a that's a soft shooting 308. <laughs> that's a winner right there for yeah, sure. Is. So guys, check out Liberty Suppressors, the amendment, excellent for your rifle. And again, they have a lot of other suppressors that are out there. I really like being able to disassemble this suppressor, be able to keep yep. it clean. <clears throat> that's one of my favorite features, being able to take it apart and being able to clean it and service the suppressor. You know, you even if you're shooting centerfire rifle, you still get a lot of carbon buildup in these cans and a sealed suppressor, you're not able to take it apart and clean it. So that's a really innovative design feature that Liberty has with all their suppressors. And we really appreciate Nate over at Gun Zone Deals for sending the amendment for this review. And again, we really appreciate Robbie for being here and helping us out. Yes, sir. Good to be here. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. and prosper. So guys, check out Liberty Suppressors. They have a long line of different, a long line. They have a long line of <laughs> something. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Put your hat on Sometimes right. you just gotta turn your hat the right way. Really knows. Okay. 
could have been either one of you. That was me. me. That's what I said. That me! Stop that! I've had my fill of this thing today. Yeah, let's turn it off.